Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about five ways, five ways that mortgage professionals make success more complicated and more difficult than it needs to be and how to bring the beauty of elegant simplicity into your business so you can earn more while working less, have more fun, more flow, more fulfillment along the way. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And what inspired me to talk about this is I have been coaching mortgage pros to success for the last 16 years. My company, MortgageMarketingCoach.com, has had the unique front row seat opportunity to work with literally hundreds and hundreds of mortgage professionals, both newbies and veterans alike, to help them double, triple, quadruple their income and to be able to increase their productivity without increasing their workload. And what I've noticed is, is that there's a lot of landmines, a lot of bright, shiny objects, if you will, that lure people away to be doing it the hard way and to waste time, unnecessary time, uh, that has them, frankly, in the quagmire of minutia, has them chasing the bright, shiny objects, stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. And I see that also in my brokerage. I just launched a national mortgage brokerage in the States about five months ago, Best Life Mortgage. Uh, we currently have about 29 loan officers and we're licensed in Texas, South Carolina and Florida. And while we're growing in leaps and bounds when it comes to growing the team, one of the things that I noticed is the same thing I noticed with my coaching clients. People make it more complicated than it needs to be. And it breaks my heart because these people have all kinds of potential. They're beautiful people. They're intelligent. They have work ethic. They have desire. They have all these things going for them. And yet they're trying to reinvent the wheel and they go off script. They go off the proven path and they start to try and, you know, do it their way. And as I often say, success ain't Burger King. It ain't your way. You know, if you try and reinvent the wheel, chances are it ain't going to go so well. So we want to help you come back to the fundamentals, the elegant simplicity that will get you to your outcomes better, faster, easier with more fun, flow and fulfillment. That's really what it's all about. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's start with the first way that mortgage pros tend to make things more complicated than it needs to be and puts the brakes on when it comes to achieving their outcomes. The first is buying leads buying leads. You see this so much, not only with mortgage pros, but also with real estate agents. In many cases, they're in cahoots doing it the hard way, sifting through gravel to find a few gold nuggets, having to you know, sift through literally 97, 98 bits of gravel that are worthless, that are unqualified, tire kickers, looky-loos, rate shoppers, only to find maybe one or two that convert. And that's their main focus for growing their business. Man, that's doing it the hard way. And so doing that to the exclusion of the lowest hanging fruit, which is repeat and referral business, to the neglect of capturing all the business that you're leaving on the table just by virtue of holes in your marketing that have you miss out on referrals, miss out on repeat business. It's like stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. It just doesn't make sense. It's doing it the hard way. Think about it. You're chasing after these purchased leads who are usually shared with two, three, four, five other mortgage companies. And they're, they frankly have forgotten that they even opted in for this. So when you call them, they're like, oh, I didn't know I was even asking, or they've been bombarded other mortgage companies, hammering at them, offering the best rate, the best service. They tend to be tire kickers, looky loose and rate shoppers. They're very price conscious. They're exceedingly difficult to convert. Many of them they don't even have a job, let alone a down payment or a decent income or decent credit on their credit score. And yet they're talking about getting a home. They're talking about getting a mortgage. It's crazy, right? So now you're wasting time, time you can never get back, dealing with a bunch of chaff, a bunch of gravel, trying to sift through a mountain of gravel just to find maybe one, two or three gold nuggets out of a hundred. That's doing it the hard way, friends. And yet that's what so many mortgage professionals and real estate agents are doing to quote unquote, grow their business. That's doing it the freaking hard way. Let's get real. So that's one way you're gonna work a lot, a lot longer and harder for less. Not to mention the fact that when you do finally close a deal 
from these crappy leads you're getting, you're paying so much in acquisition costs because you're paying so much per lead that you end up spending two or three or four G's just to acquire one deal that maybe you're going to make 3,500 on. So you're basically working for free. How great does that sound, right? Let me grind longer and harder, get my ass kicked by a bunch of rate shoppers, looky loos and tire kickers and unqualified chaff only to make 500 bucks after I wasted countless hours and all that time I can never get back. That sounds like a great program. That sounds like a great plan. Sign me up for that. That sounds like planet prosperity to me. Hell freaking no. That's called planet. Get your ass kicked is what that's called. That's called planet suffering. That's called planet living in. I can't afford it prison. I wouldn't sign up for that program. That's definitely doing it the hard way. So that's one of the ways. Let's talk about another way. And it's very much in parcel and in tandem with the first one. And that is internet leads. So you might be doing internet leads through Facebook ads or Google AdWords or YouTube. And I'm not saying anything is wrong necessarily with getting leads to supplement your primary source of business, which should be buy referral and repeat quality leads, easy to convert leads, people who are hot for what you got, pre-sold on you before they even talk to you, that have a proclivity and a tendency to do repeat and referral business with you, who are easy to convert, who are more profitable, who are super grateful and fun to work with. Those are the ones you want to work with. So the purchase leads and the internet leads, they're crappy. They're not easy to convert. They're not necessarily very grateful when you do finally help them convert. And they're not necessarily very likely to refer you more of their friends and family. And they're certainly not very likely to do repeat, uh, repeat business with you. And they're certainly not going to be the most profitable. They're going to be lower average loan sizes. They're going to be, uh, you know, the lower de demographic when it comes to income. And they're going to be the kind of person that you don't necessarily want to press the repeat button on as a quote unquote dream client, are they? And yet this is what so many mortgage professionals and real estate agents are signing up for as the way to grow their business. It's ludicrous. It's absolute ludicrous. And yet that's what people are chasing after. And they've already noticed that it ain't really working that much, but because they think that's the holy grail to grow in their business, they just don't know what they don't know. So they just keep doing the same old thing and the same old results and wondering why it ain't working. Wonder no longer. That's doing it the hard way. Another way that mortgage professionals are overcomplicating it and frankly making it a lot more difficult than they should or could is that they're doing caveman methods like cold calling. So they're, you know, smiling and dialing, doing cold calling hell every Monday, cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. You know, there's coaches that teach this stuff, right? Call more realtors, cold call more realtors. And these realtors, frankly, don't really give a rat's ass about their call because they don't have a value proposition. They don't have anything unique or compelling about what they're offering. They're just low leeches offering great rates, great service, throw me a bone. And then they wonder why it ain't working and why it feels like they're banging their head against the wall, spinning their wheels, waste their time, getting nowhere while these realtors just brush them off. Don't give them the time of day. Say, I'm already working with a preferred lender. I'm already, you know, I'm good. I'm not interested. Thanks, but no thanks. And if you've been in the business for any period of time, you know what I'm talking about is true because chances are you've experienced it yourself. You still maybe have the welt on your forehead from banging your head against the wall because that is indeed doing it the hard way. So if you're doing that, it's better than nothing, but not much better. Sure, there's people that you know are quote unquote making millions who do that method, but that's because they got there when that method worked 10, 15, 20 years ago, that worked. It doesn't really work anymore. Every Tom, Dick and Harry is offering great rates, great service. Every Tom, Dick and Harry is chasing after the same realtors. Why would they work with you just because you're just another loan leech who wants to leech their business? Obviously, they're not going to give you the time of day if that's all you're offering. So cold calling realtors without a kick ass value proposition to get them pre cooked, pre tenderized, hot for what you got and predisposed to say yes to a meeting is definitely doing it the hard way. The fourth way that mortgage professionals overcomplicate it and make it a whole lot more difficult than they need to is they're trying to do it all themselves. They don't have a, a, a plan, they don't have a system, or their system and plan is outdated from the dark ages, and they don't have any 21st century proven plan that's proven to work today, proven to be effective today. 
they're operating from a playbook that worked in the caveman era. And then they wonder why it ain't working. So they're trying to do it themselves from a standpoint of like, you know, they figure, hey, it may not be working yet, but if I just keep working a little harder and a little longer, eventually maybe it'll pan out. They don't seek a proven plan from an expert. They say, hey, that's going to be too expensive. I'd rather learn from my own mistakes than to learn from an expert. And obviously that's going to be a lot more expensive to learn from your own mistakes than to learn from an expert. Anytime you reinvent the wheel trying to do it yourself, it's going to be a lot more expensive because you're going to be stepping on those landmines. And every time you step on a landmine, it's blowing up the potential that you could be earning and it's giving it to your competitor. It's, it's knocking the limbs off your dream, putting your dream further and further into the future and putting the precipice of getting chewed up and spat out and having to go to back to nine to five prison coming closer and closer and more and more eminent and inevitable if you don't fix it. So these doing it your own way, doing it yourself way, your, sex, your success ain't Burger King. It ain't your way. You've got to find out what works, but one of the fastest ways to find out what works is not trying to mess with the Rubik's Cube to no avail, spinning around left and right, up and down to no avail without ever getting those colors to line up, banging your head against the wall, wondering why it's so freaking hard to get those colors to line up. Instead, you can just pass that Rubik's Cube to a Rubik's Cube master, a Rubik's Cube expert, and let them just mess with it for a couple minutes, hand it back to you with all the colors lined up. That's the power of delegating your weakness to someone who has it as their strength so that you can just be freed up to do what you do best and get the best to do all the rest. Why try and be the you know, expert in everything? You can't. It's impossible. But if you try and be the jack of all trades, you're going to be the master of none. And what happens is your weakness becomes your bottleneck. Your weakness becomes the thwarting point that has you stay stuck in the same old rut, doing the same old thing, getting the same old results. Your weakness becomes your kryptonite. What if you could delegate your weakness so that your weakness becomes your strength? Because where you are weak, we are unique. Where you are weak when it comes to knowing how to grow your business, when it comes to focusing on the most profitable activities, when it comes to systems that work while you're not working, when it comes to attracting top producing realtors to make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling, when it comes to mining the gold from your database, if you have one, so you can maximize repeat and referral business, when it comes to having a robust buffet of awesome that you can bring to these top producing agents so that you aren't just riding on a one trick pony. You're not just, you know, a one and done solution, but you have a robust full quiver of awesome that you can bring to help them earn more while working less, to help them work smarter, not harder, to help them take their business to the next level. And so now instead of just being a lone leech, you become irreplaceable and indispensable. You become their preferred lender. They make you their exclusive, not because you offer great rates and great service, that's a given, but because you've positioned yourself as a marketing partner. And now you're irreplaceable and indispensable such that they send you all their business all the time, put you on their speed dial and make you their exclusive. And here's the kicker, while working on your terms, not theirs, without making a single cold call, Obviously, if it was easy to figure out all that stuff and to crack the code on all that stuff, you wouldn't even be watching this right now because you'd be kicking ass and taking names, making freedom money. But the reason you're watching this is because you know that ain't an easy code to crack. And even if you've been in the business for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, chances are you still haven't figured out how to crack the code on that. Why? Because it's not an easy code to crack. You're not going to crack that code just by watching some free YouTube videos, listening to some free audiobooks and reading some free blogs. You know it and I know it. So trying to do it all yourself is absolutely the path to doing it the hard way, the path to leaving a shit ton of money on the table and you taking way longer than you need to or that you should or could to get to your dream. We could get you to making dream income, freedom income, liberate your spouse income in a matter of a year, in a matter of six months not taking six years, six months, we can condense decades into days because now instead of you messing around trying to reinvent the wheel, you just get straight to what works. Instead of 
grinding up the 20 story staircase with a 50 pound backpack on your back, sweating your buns off, doing it the hard way. You can just press the P button on the elevator and go straight to making prosperity money, penthouse money right from the get go. That's what I call working smart instead of just working hard. And the fifth reason or rather fifth way that mortgage prof professionals overcomplicate it and slow down their success is they try to reinvent the wheel, not following a proven plan. So it's very similar to the other one. Well, why do we try and reinvent the wheel? Because we have these erroneous beliefs that if I want it done right, I got to what? Do it myself. It's hard to find what? Good people, right? And so we get these erroneous beliefs instilled in us from our childhood and those weeds are still festering in our garden. And then we wonder why the fruitful life that we want to create is being strangled, is being thwarted. Well, wonder no longer, you got weeds in your garden and they're going to take your garden if you don't pull those weeds out. So the weeds are these erroneous beliefs and assumptions and presumptions that, you know, the John Wayne method of, of business is working smart. No, being that you know, fiercely independent John Wayne mentality of you got to do everything yourself. If you want things done right, you got to do it all yourself. You're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to work way longer and harder than you should. You're going to be locked to the office ball and chain all day, every day. You're going to be enslaved to your business. You're going to be burnt out. You're going to be tired as hell. You're going to be buried under a mountain of minutia and you're going to be a slave to your business. That's not fun. That's not fulfilling. As Dr. Phil would say, how's that working for you so far? Chances are it ain't gonna work so well. Why? Because you didn't get this business to get buried, buried under a mountain of minutia, did you? You got in this business to claim freedom, to help people, to serve people, to make a difference, to dance in your strengths, to love what you do and do what you love, to be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want, to call your own shots, to be your own boss, to live a life of freedom and fulfillment. That's why you're in this business, true or not true. So if that's the case, you can't afford to try and reinvent the wheel because there's already a proven formula for freedom and you don't got it. That's why you're watching this podcast. That's why you're listening to this podcast. But if you think you're gonna be able to find that code just by you know digging deep yourself, you got another thing coming. Sure, you can do it, but it's going to take you a hundred times longer, and you know a hundred times more money, and way more blood, sweat, and tears, and sleepless nights than just getting straight to what works. The clients we work with understand the truth. That's going to be a lot more expensive learning from your own mistakes than to learn from an expert, and that's why they hire us. So if you're listening to this podcast right now, you're like Dorn. I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. I need that code. I know my way ain't working at the level I needed to. I know I'm leaving a lot of money on the table. I know I'm wasting a lot of time. I know I'm not even scratching the surface of my potential, but I don't have that proven plan and I need it. I, I know that what I'm doing is working to an extent, but it ain't working at the level that I know I'm capable of. It ain't working at the level of greatness. It might be working at the level of goodness, but I'm not willing to settle for good. I want to step up to great. And if that's you, and you're on 100% commission, you eat what you kill with no safety net, you're making 80 basis points or higher, doing residential loans, and you wanna at least add an extra 100,000, 200,000, half a mil plus per year in income and commissions, working smarter, not harder, while putting in less time, less energy, less effort, and having more fun, flow, and fulfillment. If that's you, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call, where you'll get on the phone with me or one of my consultants, we will lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working in your business, what's not working in your business. Where are you now in your business? Where do you want to be in your business? And if we can help you bridge that gap and go from where you are to where you want to be, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you'll leave that meeting, you'll leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. Fair enough? So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. But Dorn, I don't want to call and have a sales pitch. I get it, nor do I. This ain't a sales pitch. If we have to sell you on your dream, you're not ready for your dream. So let's not get things twisted. This is not a sales pitch. This is about identifying where you are, where you want to be, and to discern and discover whether or not we can help you. 
If we can help you and we're 100% certain we can do so, we'll show you what that looks like inside of our proven plan. If not, we'll be the first to advise to pass. So this is not a sales call. This is a discovery call. This is a breakthrough call. This is about you getting clarity, more clarity than you ever have before in your entire career on what it really takes, what it's really going to take to be able to manifest your dream, to get you making freedom money, to get you stepping into your full potential. So if you're game for that, book the call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So let's connect. Looking forward to having an honest, real, authentic connection with you to see if we can help you. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I trust you got some value, some insight from this time together. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't make it more difficult than it needs to be. There's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. There's no merit badges at the bank for grinding longer and harder than you should. Let's just take the shortest path to the cash. Let's just work smart, not work hard. Working hard is a given. If you want to claim your dream, you're going to have to work hard. But it's not just about working hard. It's about working smart. If you're just working hard, but you're not working smart, it's like trying to take a 747 off the runway. Get that 747 off the runway, but you're pressing the throttle and the brake at the same time. That ain't going to get you off the runway. You're never going to get off the runway, let alone slip into the jet stream, if you're pressing the throttle, the gas, and the brakes at the same time. we got to release the brake, and we got to crank full throttle. we got to put pedal to the freaking metal. That's how you overcome the resistance. That's how you overcome the inertia. That's how you overcome the law of gravity and you enact the law of lift, which supersedes the law of gravity. That's how you take flight and that's how you get into the jet stream and that's how you get into your dream. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in. My name is Dornell Dana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And we are in it to win it in your corner on your team to help you achieve your dream. So again, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.